before they will say they have not been taught. One of the favorite statements of some certain students. Good day, favorites. Welcome back. Today, we have a question on the board. Given the word, the quadratic equation 7x squared minus 4x plus what 5 equals to what 0. Find the sum of alpha and beta, product of what alpha and beta, difference of alpha and beta, and the word difference of 2 square alpha and what beta. Okay, but before we move into this, we need to understand the words, the concept of this. Roots of a quadratic equation. Now, the root of a quadratic equation, I was say, given the quadratic equation, ax what square plus what bx plus what c equals to what zero. Normally, to solve this quadratic equation, we are going to use the word the formula. That's what one of the word the method to solve a quadratic equation use of the word the formula, which is what x is equal to what minus b plus or minus square root, then you include the discriminant, b square minus 4ac over what? 2a. Now we are going to have two value for what? s. Two value for s. Now, the values we have for s are the roots of the equation. That is alpha and what? Beta. It means that either x is equal to what? Alpha or what? x is equal to what? Beta. These are the roots of the equation. The roots of the equation, they are the, well, the answers to the word the quadratic equation. So when we solve using, using the formula or any words, any other one, like we can use what? Um, factorization method, completing the square method, we have two value for s. The value for s are what? The alpha and what? Beta, which are the word the roots of the equation. Now, let us move further. If these are the, the roots of the equation, let us take it up. Forward. We have, this is the same as what x minus what alpha equals to zero, or what x minus what beta equals to what zero. I take the word root to the word the left hand side of the equation. So that is going to give us x minus what alpha, x minus what beta equals to what zero. That is either this is equals to what zero or this is equals to what zero. Now, if I expand the left hand side, if I open this bracket, what do I what am I going to have? X squared minus what? Alpha x minus beta x plus alpha beta equals to what? Zero. Now, if you look at what we have here, what we have here was the like terms. You can see we have common factors, so I can do what easily would factorize. So this is going to give us x to the power of 2 minus what? Bracket alpha plus what? Beta x plus what? Alpha beta equals to what? 0. Now, from the roots, I can easily do what? Derive the what? The equation. This is a what? A quadratic equation. Now, what I just do, if you look at the first term here, the second term, and the word the third term. The second term is the what? The sum of the roots, which we have here. And the constant value is what? The product of the word, the roots, which we have here. I can de derive the equation using the word, the roots. Now, if you look at this equation that we have here, we are going to make it look like this. Now, if you look at this equation, the left hand side of this equation, we observe three things. The first, the coefficient of x squared here is what? 1. The second, the coefficient of what? x squared here, x here is what? Minus the sum in bracket, the sum of the word, the root. Why? Lastly, what we have here is the word, the product of the word, the root. Now we are going to make this one look like this. So first, we are going to do what? Make this the coefficient of what? x squared here, 1. Now, how do we do that? We we'll divide both sides by what? a. So if I divide both sides by a, I'm going to have x raised to the power of 2 minus what? b over what? a, sorry, plus x plus what? c over what? a equals to what? 0. 
Now, this is what I'm going to have. Now, how do I get the word? The sum of the roots. The next one is what? The second term right here, the coefficient of x is what minus in brackets, sum of the words, the roots. It is equals to this one, b over what? a. And the product of the roots is equals to what? c over what? a. So therefore, b is the second term right here, minus in bracket, alpha plus what? Beta is equals to what? The coefficient of what? x right here, b over what? a. So I'm going to remove this word minus sign, minus sign, by multiplying both sides by minus 1. Now what do I have? Alpha plus beta is equal to what minus b over what a. So therefore, the sum of the root is equal to what minus b over what a. Now the, word, the product of the root will be equal to what c over what a. So therefore, the product of the root, alpha plus what beta. Sorry, alpha beta is equal to what c over what a. So this is the word sum of the roots. Why this is the word the product of the word the roots. So let's come to this word, this question. Now we have the word equation. We have a, b, c is the word constant. We are going to make this equation look like this. By making the coefficient of what x squared here 1. And we make the coefficient of x squared here 1. We are going to divide both sides by what 7. If I do that, I'm going to have x raised to the power of 2 minus what 4 over what 7x plus what 5 over what 7 equals to what 0. So therefore, sum of the root is equal to what minus b over what a. Sum of the root. Sum of the roots is equal to minus b over what a. You can see it right here. So therefore, alpha plus what beta is equal to what minus bracket. What do we have here? B over what a because the here is what b. Why this is what a? Seven over what four minus what four over what seven. So therefore, sum of the roots minus times minus is plus is what four over what seven. Now, product of the root is what c over what a, which we have here. Product of the root, alpha, beta, is equal to what c over what a, which is what 5 over what 7. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we have answer what a and what b. Now, let's go to what c, the difference of the root. Now, the difference of the root, for we to do this, you realize it's not in this word equation, the difference of the root. It's not in this equation. There is another way to do it. But first, I'm going to do what to explain. I'm going to clean this board to explain it. Okay? You can easily pause the video and then write this thing out. All right. Okay. Easier. Okay, so what we have here, this is the word the quadratic equation. I'm going to use this to explain now. This is the word the quadratic equation. Why this is the word the formula to solve the word the quadratic equation. Now, if we solve the quadratic equation, we are going to have two values for what s, which is what alpha and what beta. Okay, so you can see here we have plus or what minus. That means the alpha is going to take positive by the beta is going to take what negative so therefore alpha is equal to what minus b plus square root b square minus what 4ac by what 2a and what beta is going to take what minus b minus square root b square minus 4ac over what 2a you can see right here alpha take what positive while beta take what negative both, both of them form the words, the value for what? S. Okay. Now, first of all, let us start with what? The sum. The sum. Alpha plus what? Beta. Then we'll get this thing what? We'll get it clear with this. So, therefore, alpha plus beta, I'm going to sum these two and see if I can get what? 
minus b over what a all right so what is alpha alpha is what minus b plus the square root b square minus what 4ac plus what the beta minus b minus b minus b square minus what 4ac over what 2a over what 2a now these are what fraction now first we take the word the lcm the lcm is what 2a of the denominators so 2a divided by 2a is what 1 times the numerator is going to give us what the same thing minus b plus so what do i have here b square minus what 4ac all right plus what do i have here minus b minus okay so therefore two signs cannot meet so i have what minus b minus b square minus what 4a c okay now if you look at the numerator the numerator what we have here you can see that this is what positive the square root discriminant while what we have here is what negative the square root discriminant uh, the discriminant of the word the square root of the discriminant or a positive value of the square root of the word discriminant so there is positive here is what negative so definitely do not cancel out now what I have here minus b minus b so therefore I have what alpha plus what beta will be equal to what minus minus b minus b minus 2b over what 2a so therefore alpha plus what beta is equal to what 2 cancel 2 minus b over what a you can see that we have the same thing right here minus b over what a okay you can just write this thing out i'm going to clean the board again all right I can pause the video and write it out okay now let us go to what alpha minus what beta alpha minus beta okay so alpha is what minus b plus square root b square minus what 4ac minus beta minus beta minus b minus square root b square minus what 4ac all over 2a all over what 2a so the SCM, SCM is what? 2A. 2A. So the same thing. Minus B plus square root B square minus 4AC. Minus, minus, what I have here is what? Minus B. Two signs cannot meet. So therefore I put it in bracket. Minus B minus square root B square minus 4AC. So let, let me let us open this bracket first. So I have what minus b plus square root b square minus 4ac. Minus times minus is what plus. So I have what plus b. Minus times minus is what? Plus plus square root b square minus what 4ac over what 2a. Now, right here, we have what minus b, right here, we have what plus b. So, therefore, cancel out. Now, we have a plus here, we have a plus. So, the square root of the discriminant or the square root of the discriminant. So, we have what alpha minus beta is equal to what? 2, I get square root of the word discriminant, 4ac over what? 2a. So, 2 cancel out 2. Alpha minus beta is equal to what? B square minus 4ac over what? A. So this is what we have for what? Alpha minus beta, B square minus 4ac over what? A. When you solve this, you have the what? The value for what? Alpha minus what? Beta. 7 is A, minus 4 is B, C is what? 5. All right, I'm going to leave you to it. You are going to just do this. You do this and then you do this, and then in our next video or in our next class, we'll look for, we'll find the value of these two. Then you check if you actually got it right. Thank you and God bless you. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more exciting videos. 
God bless you as you do so.